Hi guys, yesterday's horse was quite uh, an interesting one. It was, um, uh, the name of the horse was Jasper. Five year old gypsy cob. A decide, quite a small cob really, I think about 14 hands, but really strong, uh, one of those strong feathered, big boned horses. Uh, five years old, decided you're not trimming my feet, you're not touching them, uh, and started to get to a stage where it was getting dangerous and um, two farriers went up the other day, um, did their best. I think it had been about a year since the owner had been able to really do anything with those legs. Uh, it got worse and worse and worse. Two farriers together, thought they'd get the job done. It got worse and worse and worse and got to a stage where it was getting more than dangerous. So they quit. Uh, I do feel for them really. So they had other calls to go to. So it's not the farrier's fault. They did the best they could, because uh, there's, no, there's no way you're gonna make that horse, absolutely no way you're gonna force the horse. They couldn't, no one would force the horse to uh, allow them to hold, their, hold its feet and trim them. So it's a totally different approach. Uh, it's not linear thinking this, this is a different way of thinking about it. The, the horse again has gotta, it's gotta be the horse's idea to allow me to pick the feet up. Or well, the horse has gotta think it's his idea. So yeah, interesting video for you to see. Um, have a look, see what you think. So, just another point um, before we go into the video. <clears throat> I started getting the uh, address where I've got to go to meet Jasper, and suddenly realised it was my old my old house, my old, the old farm. It was about seven, eight, nine years ago, something like that. We bought a council farm at auction. So there she is, Sunset Ranch. We called it another ranch. We did up. I'm on the way there now to look at a horse. Wow, brings back some memories. There it is. Yeah. Sunset Ranch. Sunset Ranch. Oh wow. Very horsey. <laughs> So I start working Jasper, or I, I go in to catch Jasper, and realise very quickly there was another problem, was the fact that this horse didn't accept anybody in its um, right eye. So. Alright, did you see when I just backed off for a second? Uh, I've had this a lot and I noticed straight away, any any kind of pressure you put on the horse, it was just, be, you know, like panicking if you were in its right eye. So that's what I noticed and then I had to change the way I was doing things then. And uh, it'd be interesting now for you to see some of the things I did to try and improve um, how it looked at me within within in the right eye and things you can do to help that and to notice it really. So that's why I put a bit of pressure on it in the stables just to make sure I was right with what I was thinking. So that's interesting for you to see. You can only give me two eyes now. Yeah. You see? Yeah. But if you think about it, everything's been done on that eye. Mm. We're leading, we catch them, everything's here, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, that's it. So look where he's put me now. Yeah. Do you see what I'm saying? So I would do as much as you can yeah. on the other eye. See how he's trying to turn his head? Yeah. See how he's trying to turn his head? Yeah. Right, so I'm gonna, see what he's doing with his head? So I'm just showing you some of the things that, so what I'm trying to do here is disengaging this side. No. So he's still trying to put me in that eye. Still. He's not a nasty horse, has he decided to? No, he's not nasty. You know, you've got a nice... What's your plans with him? I want him broken to ride. Okay. Uh, um, Delisa wants him to drive. <laughs> he's going to be a nice club horse. <laughs> okay, so what we've got to make sure here is, your idea is to break this horse, right? Is that this problem with this right side? I'm getting very nervous in this right eye. 
thought to say, you're going to have to get this better, so you've got to do a lot of handling this side. Try and lead from this side, groom this side. Just, just make yourself familiar with this side as much as you can. Because I would never break a horse for anyone when there's little spots in this eye. Because I guarantee, almost guarantee, and a lot of people miss this, when these horses are ridden, that have got a problem with this eye, and it's quite coming, when they're ridden and they turn to the right, and this horse sees someone up there in the right eye, and that's when things can go completely pear shaped. And people wonder, where did that come from? And I've had it happen myself many a time. So keep that in mind. This is what we've got to do the handling next time. Now, what I'm going to do now, you'd think that, oh, we get straight down to the feet. No, we're not going to do that. I've got to be able to cause movement. Can I control these horses' feet, uh, causing movement, to be able to get these feet to stand still? So, I'm going to start off here. And you can disengage his hind quarters. So, yeah. That. He's blowing quite, quite a little bit here. But I've got to be able to take his hindquarters round, that's quite nice. I'm going to ask him to go around this way. This is his bad eye, now he's freezing here. Right, now he's gone. Now he's trying to put me in the other eye, which I'm going to try not to let him. His head's come up. Now he's wanted to start, he's quite nervous there. So I'm just going to keep looking at his feet. Trying to say to him, it's not personal about him, it's just where the feet go. Now they're going forward. See how he doesn't want to move around there? There's a little spot right there, that's quite nice. So, I'll see if I can disengage him. He might not want to disengage here, because he'll be giving his motor to oh, that's okay. A lot of the time, the horse will step around itself. Well, well disengage there, he's not disengaging properly because he feels threatened and doesn't want to give it. Um, right, that was a disengagement. Did we get to go forward with his feet a bit? Yeah. Disengagement, yeah. Go the other way. Now he's calm, that side, no trouble really. Yeah, nice. Disengages immediately. See, you see this is going up. That's a little better. A little better. Oh yes, that's a little better. So, I'll give him a break for a second. Now what I'm going to do is make a start on relaxing him, uh, which is something you can practice as well. And for that I'm going to lower his head. When his head's low, he'll start to relax. And it's something that some horses have been that nervous. I've taught them this, they've been that nervous when people go around them. I get this going good with lowering the head and they automatically, for themselves, when they see you or the person goes around, they'll lower the head to themselves. I'm gonna see whether they'll drop down to me a little bit here. Do with the, there's some pigeons flying around in here, that didn't help. Right, I'm gonna do it the other side as well, which won't be quite so easy because he doesn't like people in that eye. A little bit of pressure and then release when he just tips down slightly. Right? A little bit there. Look at that. Um, there. You see how I'm just releasing as soon as he drops down? Um, there. You can't overdo this. It's great right, I'll go the other side. Hopefully, it, it'll, it'll happen. So sometimes they don't want to. Now, I can tell his breathing has gone a little bit. Uh, Oh, that's okay, that's better than I thought. Yeah, that's nice. A little bit of pressure, and just, and just when he drops, he, there. And that's showing that you can do this. If he, if he goes against the pressure, just hold and wait till there's a little tiny bit of pressure there. And as soon as he drops, and the more his head's down here with a person, the more relaxed he's gonna get, especially in this eye. He's got a long mane, isn't he? Yeah. Right then. Well, that's a good thing because if he doesn't like you on the side, you can spend hours doing this mane. <laughs> so, okay, so that's. Okay, so now I've been able to lower his head. I've been able to cause movement. He's a bit softer on the eye that he doesn't like people in. 
So now I'm going to attempt, I'm showing him that I'm not, he's not contained, the rope's on the floor. So I'm going to go see how far I can get down the leg. Now, the way he is at the moment, I've got a feeling he's going to be better straight away than, he, than you're used to seeing. Because he's already wanting to stay rather than to keep moving him around. So, you know, but I'll go as far as I can and when he decides to move, if he moves, then I'm going to move him around and then stand him still again. And I'll keep doing that till he sort of says, well, do you know what, I'm going to experiment and just let him touch my leg a little bit because maybe then I haven't got to move. So I'm kind of making my idea his idea. So we'll start here. I'm just going to rub him down. I'm not going to be creepy about it and creep around it. I'm going to see how far I can get. Ah, oh, man. Is that better than he was? <laughs> You see what I mean? I, he said, that's his idea. I almost wanted him to move more then. Yeah. But if he did move, I would have moved him around and then give him a, ch a chance to stop. That's, that's good. Now I'll start with the front feet, obviously. He's deciding not to move. I'm going to do with a brush, really. So what's happening? He's choosing to stay, which is what I wanted rather than move, and I don't care if you move, because then it means more when he does stand still and, and searches to stay. Problem I've got is, <clears throat> it's quite common, when I try to pick the feet up, he's loading the foot. He's loading the foot up, so you can't, you'll never pick it up if he's loading it up. So, there's a little trick here, it's a, it's a, it's a soft rope with a little, um, uh, little hook on the end, little loop, push through the loop, you put it round the fetlock, and all you do, and this has worked for me so many times, I learned this in the States a long, long time ago, um, but those guys do it on horseback, but you know, I, I like to, we're in the UK here, yeah, so people wouldn't like that. But, um, so I put that round, all I'm gonna do is hold it up with pressure, and I'm gonna hold it until he starts to take the weight on this foot and then release it. That's the start of it. So I'm going to keep keep a pressure there and then as soon as he loads up the other foot, right, not there, there. He loaded that foot up, I've released it, told him how good he is. It's all right, fella. Now he's just got a little bit upset there. So what I'm gonna do is just lower his head a little bit so you're all right, that's no trouble. Right, so now I'm going to go again, I'm going to, he's actually loading that up now, for me, he's loading that up, which he wasn't before, so now I'm going to go a little bit further, and I'm going to see whether I can get to take, pick the foot up, and as he takes the weight off and picks it up, I'll release it. So I'm going to, a little bit of pressure, right, a little bit of pressure, and as soon as he lifts this foot up, I'm going to let it go. Okay, so I'm just going to, I don't care how long this takes, it can, it can, it can take us, the longer it takes, the better, because it will mean more to Right, he almost picked it up. And again, a little bit of pressure, a little bit of pressure. And when he picks that up, there, I've let it go. Now, I can do this with all four feet until he is quite happily lifting his foot to the pressure. And then I'll move then to my hand again. So I'll do it one more time. A bit of pressure, a bit of pressure, a bit of pressure. Just hold and wait, hold and wait. Hold and wait, and then, and then as soon as he picks it up, there he goes. Okay, so I'm going to try now to pick them up. See if he'll wait for me. So I run my hand down. I'm going to put a bit. Ah, uh, no. Wow. Well, he's taking it from me. I'll wait till he's nice and relaxed. Now I'll give him a break. You see? So now I've been doing it on the side that he's not quite so happy with. Uh, so that goes on the fetlock, and I'm going to put a bit of pressure, and as soon as he takes, it, takes his weight off, there, that's it for him. That's it for him. Lower his head a little bit. He knows he's not confined, he knows he's not in that, in that um, situation where he's all in the stable and farriers are trying to force, force the issue. You've got to give him the choice. That's the difference. That's, root, you know, that's the kind of training that sticks with the horse if it's their choice. Uh, what a lovely man, right. Okay, so I think I've done that enough now, and now I'm gonna try and see whether he let me pick his foot up. Okay, so. <coughs> wow, quite happy with that. Yeah, that's great. 
really gross. Right then, back feet. So okay, I've been moving him around again. He's wanting to, he's chose to stand again. So I'm gonna see how far I can get. If I could only get to there, if I could get to there and he moved, then I'd start moving him around again. And then I'd ask him to stand, or if he wanted to stand, I'd let him stand, and then I'd see how far I can go. If he moved again, I'd move him again. I almost guarantee. But eventually, you're saying, I'm gonna let him go a bit further. It might mean I can stand. So, so then I'd go a bit further, and that's the way you do it, you know. It sounds a little bit non-linear. It is going around the Rekin, but there's a saying, the slower you go, the quicker you get there. And it's absolute fact that, you know, in one or two sessions, I could have this horse picking his feet up. So, so I'll see how far we can get. Oh, that's pretty good. I right, think that's quite good. Oh, yeah, he lifted his foot. I'm gonna give him that. If he moves again, then, right, now he moved a little bit there, so. I'm going to disengage him because it's his choice to move. I'm not going to stop him moving. I'm not going to stop him moving. I'm going to move him around. Come on, with quality. I'm looking at his feet. And he's going to want to stop. He's going to want to stop in a minute. He'll stop himself. All the time. So we kind of stopped, but it wasn't wasn't enough for me to say, no, you're ready to stop. No. 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 Keep on going. So he's ready to stop. So he's ready to stop. Right, okay. So. So now, lower his head a little bit. See if I can, see, not lowering his head as quick as I wanted, because he's feeling a little bit rough. So. Now then I'll go again. So I'll see how far I can get with the back again. So I can get to there, I can get to there. Let's see if he moves. I don't care if he moves. He can move. Ah, he didn't move. So it was his idea to not move then. His idea to not move. And it kind of worked out better for him not to move. And there you go, look at that. So I'll move away from him now and say, that's all I want. It's his idea to stand. I don't care if he moves. I'm in. So that's good. Okay. Okay. Right with this. With this leg. He's telling me that's fine. I'm happy with that. And this is his bad side, remember? So he's happy with that. I'm just going to see if I can unweight it. See if he'll unweight it. Yes, he unweighted it. So I've, I've come away from him for a minute. Tell him how good he is. Again, if it moves, I don't care, I'll do some movement till he, want, till he offers to stop. And then I'll ask again. I've got his foot. That's quite nice. Yeah. That's better. So, I'm pleased with that. I'll carry you in a minute um, to come back and I, I, I'm going to try and explain to Barry the best way to go about this. That's alright. Alright, brush the legs. Pick them up, give them a tap, that's fine. Brush down the leg, brush down the leg. See whether I can pick them up, that's fine. So I'm gonna release him from that now and wait for the farrow. Pick the foot up for a minute. A little pinch at the bottom and then get the toe. You have to get the toe pretty quickly. There, and just leave it nice and loose. And then when it's loose, let it go. Now give him a little rub, nice and gentle. There you go. How's that feel? <laughs> <laughs> and that's his bad side then. So if he moves, let it go and I'll just do some movement of him till he wants to stop again. Lovely job. Yeah, awesome. Then go into the front. Then, so then, you you adjust you adjust to fit the situation. So yeah, that's yeah, so that's maybe great. You could just see there the start of making our idea their idea, um, which you know that's the way I that's the way I train now. Cheers.